Coach Gabby here with the warm up for the workout. <laughs> it's called Pick It Up. So let's go ahead and start with some arm circles forward. Nice big arm circles outside in my garden. Grass is wet. That's okay. Do some burpees. I'm wearing black, so you know. Mud won't show. Let's go backwards. Birds are very loud. Across the body, alternating yarn that goes on top. A lot of cool stuff in the workout today. Some thrusters, some clean and jerks, some devil's press if you have two dumbbells. Otherwise, we'll have some uh, alternatives for you with a barbell or a kettlebell. Good shoulders. <clears throat> Noisy, noisy. And forward. And side to thigh. All right, we hear you. All right, let's do some hip circles. Another direction. And side to side. some hopping today so definitely want to warm up those calves well today let's go the other direction with our knees and calf raises Do some ankles and wrists. Squirrels knocking on my my door. All right, let's do ten jumping jacks. And we're gonna do five burpees. Was the nose dripping? I lost count. I think that's five. Six. That was six. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go ahead and sit in the squat. Chest up tall. Push those knees out. You want to try to really keep your chest up. Put your hands behind your head. Your hands over your head. And then let's just rock side to side. Warm up those ankles a little bit more. Good. Let's go ahead and do 10 air squats. We're going to do 10 more jumping jacks. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to be using a barbell today. I don't have two dumbbells or a kettlebell. So whatever object you are planning on using in the workout, uh, go ahead and grab that. Um, I'll give you a second and then come on back. All right. Welcome back. So I am going to go ahead and do... <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> why are you laughing at me? <laughs> I'm gonna warm up. Uh, there's thrusters in the workout. So I'm gonna go ahead and do five air squats. So whatever object you have, if you have a kettlebell, if you have dumbbells, go ahead and do five front squats or goblet squats. Keep your chest nice and tall. And then go ahead with your object. If you have a kettlebell, go ahead and do some Russian swings and then American swings. If you have dumbbells, go ahead and do press with your dumbbells. If you're using dumbbells, make sure those dumbbells are stacked right over your shoulders. Your arm is by your ear. Z. All right, next we're gonna put it together. So if you have those dumbbells, those dumbbells are gonna sit on your shoulder and you're gonna do some thrusters with them. If you have a kettlebell, you're gonna do some, um, what is it? Oh, you're just gonna do goblet squats with the kettlebell. So you'll just hold the, the kettlebell and you'll just do goblet squats for the thrusters. I have a barbell. I will do some thrusters with the barbell. Let's go ahead and do five with your preferred objects. Good, all right. There is also clean and jerks in the workout. So if you have a barbell, obviously you'll be doing clean and jerk. Um, a way to scale the clean and jerk if you're just using a bar and you don't want to go all the way down, you could do some from the hang and then you could jerk it. You could also start mid shin, clean it and jerk it. If you have a kettlebell, you're gonna do, um, for the clean and jerk, you're gonna do sumo deadlift high pull. So you'd have your kettlebell and you'd pull. That's gonna be instead of the clean and jerk. So you'd have your kettlebell. Remember that uh, sumo deadlift high pull from the hip and elbows nice and high. If you are doing two dumbbells, you would clean the dumbbell and then jerk it overhead. You could also do just from the hang, clean and jerk. Um, the other movement in the workout is a devil's press. So I do not have two dumbbells, but if you had two dumbbells, you would go put the dumbbells on the ground. You would do a burpee. You'd take those dumbbells and you'd swing them over your head. Try to put those dumbbells in the same spot each time. You want your chest to go in between the dumbbell. Bring those feet forward. Swing those dumbbells like a kettlebell over your head. If you're using a kettlebell, you're just going to do a burpee. You're gonna pick up your kettlebell and you'll do an American swing over your head. If you're using a barbell, you will do, oops, excuse me. If you're using a barbell, you're gonna do a burpee. And then you're gonna take your barbell and you're going to do a power snatch. So those are the options for devil's press. So go ahead. If you need more warm up, if you're planning on adding weight to your barbell, if you have a barbell, um, go ahead and do that. Make sure you do all of those movements with extra weight if you're planning on adding weight. And I will see you back for the wad description.